good day. It was a good day. A little cloudy, but well, that was a little grayish, so it could rain, who knows. Probably won't, though. I'm off to the bank to take care of the, really the last thing I have to do before I leave. And then try and decide whether I do my other thing that I should do before I leave. My laundry. Today or tomorrow. I could do it either one. It wouldn't make much difference. I think I'd be ready sooner if I do it today. So I might. I don't know. We'll see. But bank first. Alright, bank problem taken care of. No longer, I no longer have a bank account. They cut my... Where is it? They cut my um, corner of my little book. But I'm going to keep it because it has basically all the money I got as I got it recorded in there. So, um, so yeah. So I now in possession of a check with the remainder of my money, along with some money for myself as well. Um, yeah. Let's see, it's 2.30. I'm going to go out to do my laundry. I'm going to do my laundry today. And, um... <clears throat> and go to the bell for what might be the last time. I'll probably wind up going there again tomorrow, to be honest. But, I mean, who knows what will wind up happening tomorrow. Tomorrow will just be up in the air. I'll have everything taken care of here. Nothing to worry about for a day. Wander around Madrid, probably. Or stay here all day. We'll see what I wind up doing. But <clears throat> today is laundry day. So I already, like, mostly packed up my suitcase. I don't know what I was thinking last night when I did it. Because now I have to take everything out of it to put my laundry in. <laughs> and take it over. Bring it back. But then be able to get all of my other clothes combined with my clean clothes pull it up in there got one shirt for Friday a pair of socks a pair of underwear stuff like that um, ready to go for Friday everything else in the suitcase and it'll be ready cool all right yeah I'm hungry it's 2 30 like I said I'm gonna get some food and then get my laundry now I'm sitting here, it's a quarter after six. Just got my laundry done. Now I'm waiting on the bus. Take me back closer to the metro. In my old neighborhood. Under Metro right over there. There's a big mountain. Up to that park up the hill that I showed you before I moved. I thought I was moving right over there. And then I moved somewhere else completely. <laughs> yeah, so. The move made laundry less convenient, but work more convenient slightly, so worked out. So now, yeah, everything's done. I just have to go home, combine this pile of clothes with the pile of clothes that didn't need washing, and because it was not washed since the last time I washed it, or it was winter clothes, um, should all fit inside the suitcase without much problem, hopefully. Um, So yeah, get it all in there. And then just I'll leave me tomorrow to just finish everything I have left. Uh, or sit the rest of today and tomorrow to clean and do whatever I do. Who knows? So yeah, so wait on the bus. It sucks, because yeah. This bus comes through and then like a couple seconds later, like a minute tops later, another one comes through and then there's like a huge gap. And unfortunately, I saw two in a row come while I was folding the clothes, or laying out the clothes to fold. Um, nothing. I could take that. I could have tried. I, if, if I'd cross the street, I could be taking that bus now to line nine. But line nine isn't as direct. Line seven is a little bit better. So I'll be going back that way instead. Yeah. Now I'm hitting like kind of slightly. Nostalgia mode, not, not quite because it's not actually nostalgia, but it might be or will be in the future if I come back. It will then be nostalgia, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I guess I'm in nostalgia intake mode or something, just trying to relax and enjoy the rest of my time, take it all in, not miss anything. 
see ya. I got back almost an hour ago, and now I've basically got all my packing done. Not quite, my computer is still on the desk, and my iPad, um, fresh shorts I sleep in, glasses, case, toothpaste in the bathroom, and a comb and brush. <clears throat> but that's all I have left to put in there, and the cords that are attached and stuff. After I, do, after I edit my vlog and get it all ready tonight, I'm going to unplug everything. I don't need to put this desk back where it was when I got here. <clears throat> Make it nice and easy. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So, but until then, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use it one more time on the TV, the bigger screen. I can see what I'm doing. Um, now I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll watch a movie or something. I have a whole bunch of episodes of the 1980s Ninja Turtles cartoon. On my iPad, I don't want to go through those too quickly because I want to have them uh, an option. Things to do while I'm traveling. If I'm not sleeping, I can watch those shows or any other videos I may put onto there. Um, or I can play my 3DS, read a book which I made sure I had with me. Um, I have lots of options for the long trip. Um, but yeah. That's what I was missing. Where did I put that? Must already been in the backpack. Yeah, that's right. It was in the backpack already. <laughs> I didn't. I had to take everything out of my suitcase. Which, by the way, take a look. It's like poofing out at the sides a little bit. All of my clothes are are laying on top of each other, and then I have all my whites in a laundry bag, and I folded them all together at once, and I put them inside my jacket sideways, and zipped it up, and it's tight. <laughs> It's like a entire upper body inside that backpack with a few small things like the hats are jammed on the top along with a few other things in the front pocket I have my black computer bag which I didn't have to and then my small backpack in front of that in that pocket um, and in the top smaller pocket I have the one thing that I need to get to before I or that morning to load everything else up but my backpack I had fully packed which actually isn't full surprisingly although that's where all the computer stuff is going into my backpack so it will fill out <laughs> um, so yeah <coughs> this cough is still here been here for a week now oh well yeah there's no AC thing I'm over it. <laughs> the window's open. But there's no breeze today, so it's like... <sighs> that's not as cool as it was yesterday. Anyway, i got to figure out what I'm going to do next. So... Bye. 8 o'clock. Yeah, almost 8 o'clock. Tomorrow, I have to do things. I don't have to do things. I could be completely lazy if I wanted to, but I'm going to do some things. And get my vlog put together early and try to get to sleep early. Just to make everything run smoothly. Okay, so I'll see you guys later. Hello, everybody. I am getting very restless and very anxious. <laughs> uh, I wound up watching uh, for the first time. I never watched, even though I had we had it at home on VHS. Um, I just I saw it on Netflix, so I decided to watch it. Um, Left Behind. Just watched it for the first time, and it was very, yeah, so it was like, oh, okay, not, not put together, well, put together story-wise pretty good, but there are a lot of corny, cliche things that most filmmakers don't like putting in things, not the Christian aspect and the, the, the message in there, but just kind of like plays on things that were very frowned upon in most um, movies from what you see um, like I said again cliches not message connected or Christian connected or anything like that um, but it was a really good story and kind of um, did a really good job especially at the end of just drawing you in and making you just feel really uncomfortable about the presence of the Antichrist and stuff like that 
So, yeah. Um, there's actually three different ones on there. Number two, which I'm going to watch right after I start processing this, is now 10 after 10 on Wednesday. Two days till I be home, roughly. Um, yeah, two days and two hours, approximately, I will be landing in Miami. So, tomorrow's my last full day in Spain. I will be getting up probably, or no, I'll be waking up before sunrise. And I'll be leaving at about that time, approximately. So, tomorrow will be my last wake up in the morning type thing. <laughs> So, like I said, I'm going to try to do some things to just give myself closure and say goodbye to Madrid and all that stuff. Um, but I'll also try to get back here, get this processed early, and go to bed as early as I can so that I can get some sleep. And that's not going to do me any good for getting myself back on Florida time, but my other option is stay up all night to exhaust myself and then sleep on the plane. Or... Um, go to bed early and basically stay up for almost 24 hours. Those are the two things I possibly be doing. So, anyway, I'm going to close this vlog out. I think it was fairly short, but maybe long enough. Um, <coughs> so, good night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's going to be a good one.